Hello, you've caught me in my house recording a VO-only Friday feature, mainly because I haven't had a beard trim in five weeks now and look like something an evil scientist might cobble together out of dead skin and bits of old carpet. So be grateful for small mercies. The most important thing is I can still make these videos using just my voice. I've got a lovely studio set up in my bedroom and I'm raring to go with a new list of seven things. This week, those things are games, surprise, surprise, but specifically games ideal for those of you new to the world of PS4. Maybe you've just bought yourself a lovely new console, congratulations, or maybe there's been a PS4 in your house for years and you've simply never felt the urge to have a go until now. Either way, welcome to the family, here are seven games you really do need to play. Now, before we dive in, I should mention I've tried to make this list nice and varied and have therefore made up some new categories, the first of which is something to get lost in, and for my money, that has to be Horizon Zero Dawn. Every time I think about this game, it strikes me how I just can't find any fault with it whatsoever. First up, it's gorgeous. I mean, look at it. The world Guerrilla Games has so expertly crafted is a joy to explore and there's so much story to uncover by veering off the beaten track, the centuries old remnants of our present day civilization, these skyscraper skeletons like rusting sentinels, the last echo of humanity in a world reclaimed by nature. And then you've got a gripping story full of twists, led by Aloy, a protagonist who instantly earns her place among the great gaming icons of this generation. She's tough, likeable, and crucially, really very good at taking apart the machines you'll find roving all over the place. And that's the last piece of this perfect jigsaw. The combat is simple enough that you can get right in there from the off, yet also deep and varied enough to challenge those who want to squeeze everything they can out of the game. No two encounters are ever the same in Horizon Zero Dawn. Each machine has its own weakness, habitat and bits you can rip off. Plus, Aloy has a wonderful array of tools to play with, from traps and arrows to great big rope launchers that pin enemies down while you stick things in their weak spots. Oh, and you can override them and then regular ride them too. Bottom line, if you're new to PS4, you have to play Horizon Zero Dawn. You'll get happily lost inside its rich sci-fi world for tens, maybe hundreds of hours. Next, we've got something to enjoy together. Hazel Light Studios' brilliant co-op prison break adventure, A Way Out. This is a game that can only be played with a friend, and that can be locally with someone from your own house or online. You'll take control of Leo and Vincent initially escaping the prison and then evading the law, but you're going to need to work together. Maybe one of you causes a distraction while the other nips in to grab a vital piece of equipment. It's a brilliantly unique concept from the minds that brought us the equally wonderful Brothers A Tale Of Two Sons, another game we thoroughly recommend. A Way Out isn't just co-op for added fun though, you know, bring your mate along for added firepower. It's essentially a game about trust and about how, when you work together, anything is possible. You'll probably forge some kind of deeper understanding with whomever you choose to play with as well, which sounds dramatic, but honestly, A Way Out is a gaming experience unlike any other, a shared struggle. So, if you're maybe new to PS4 or even video games as a whole and want to connect with your friends, you really can't go wrong here. Okay, third entry, something to master. Now, regular viewers might be all like, hey, what on earth are you doing recommending Bloodborne to someone who's new to PS4, you sadist? And to you, I say, look, everyone sucks at Bloodborne the first time they play it. You're supposed to suck. That's the point, right? You suck, you learn, you get better, you win, you feel brilliant in that order. 
And then an even harder boss comes along and smacks you back to stage one of that little list, but hey, you overcome it. And for my money, there is no experience more satisfying than inching through the gloriously grotesque city of Yarnum, with its macabre, gothic beauty and hellish inhabitants. It's a multi-layered marvel, this place, simultaneously hideous and beautiful, an interlocking web of spires, back alleys, courtyards and rooftops, with a rich sense of history and a lore you can get lost in forever. And the bosses, oh the bosses. No one designs them like From Software, and in my opinion, Bloodborne is the studio at the absolute peak of their powers. If you have a PS4, you have to play Bloodborne. You know, I properly suck at this game and still love it, which regular viewers of the channel will know is pretty rare. The key thing to remember is that no matter how hopeless it seems, no matter how much you feel like a tiny wave lapping at the foot of a mountain, you will triumph. Eventually, that mountain will erode. Also, there's an amazing online community to help you out as well. Bloodborne players are a really lovely bunch and you'll always feel like someone has your back despite the bleak, maudlin loneliness of the game itself. Wonderful. Fourth entry, something competitive. Every now and then, you want something you can beat someone at, be they family members in your own house or total strangers on the internet. And what better game to do that with than all-time PlayStation Access Channel favourite Rocket League, a game that epitomises the phrase easy to pick up, hard to master. For the uninitiated, Rocket League is basically football with cars. Is it a massive car-sized football? Are they tiny football-sized cars? Who knows? The most important thing is this game is pure, unadulterated fun. There's just no other way of describing it, really. Drive your car into the ball, hit the ball in the goal, score, watch the fireworks erupt, hear the crowd roar, feel like you've just smashed home the winner in the World Cup final. You can play Rocket League either solo in tense one-on-one -on -one duels or in teams of up to three. Whatever you choose, it's a stone-cold guarantee you'll be hooked after one session. It's also guaranteed you'll occasionally come up against players who can do backflip volley goals off the ceiling. But the cool thing is, the vast majority of players you'll encounter are incredibly friendly and welcoming to newcomers. You know, I've been on the embarrassing end of the odd 8 nil mauling and been greeted with a well-played, good game message at the end. And it's that, as well as just how moorishly playable Rocket League is, that will have you back in there for more, scoring a dramatic last second equaliser, forcing overtime and then banging in a winner from your own half. Oh, it's so good. Rocket League, get it played. Now, for entry number five, our criteria was simply something to take your breath away. You know, a game that pushes PS4 to the limits, something visually incredible with a rich story, memorable characters and maybe a peerless combat system with the single greatest weapon in video game history. Enter God of War, enter Kratos, enter the Leviathan Axe. This incredible reimagining of a PlayStation icon is simply one of the greatest games of this entire generation. Even if you haven't played any of the other games in the series, you cannot fail to be blown away by this. It's a game where you'll be thumping the teeth out of Gorgon's hair one minute and then enjoying a quiet bit of father-son bonding the next. This is the game that made Kratos a human. A flawed warrior struggling with parenthood, his past and the memory of his dead wife, all while traversing a sumptuous world that feels as though it's exploded from the annals of Norse legends like some kind of mythological Big Bang. We won't spoil anything that happens, but there are some jaw-dropping moments along the way, some incredible battles to enjoy and, yes, an axe you can throw through just about anything with legs and or tentacles and then magically summon back to your hands. There's also your son Atreus to look after, but don't be rolling your eyes and thinking, oh no, escort mission, because this boy can look after himself. You know, if you're one of those parents who, like me, gets hyper worried about your kid running more than five feet away from you, then relax. Send him to fight that troll while you patch up your wounds. He's a tough lad, he can handle himself. But anyway, there are so many games that will take your breath away on PS4. You know, there's Uncharted 4, The Last of Us, Red Dead Redemption 2, Death Stranding, and all of those you should definitely play. 
but we've gone for God of War on this list simply because you can't have a PS4 without it, you know. It would be like toast without butter. You know, it wouldn't make sense. Play this wonderful game. Entry 6. You want something to terrify you, right? Well, even if the answer's no and you don't do horror, you should definitely still do Resident Evil 2, a pitch-perfect remake of arguably the greatest survival horror game of all time. This is an iconic reimagining that, through some sort of developmental witchcraft, manages to feel both exactly like classic Resi and also a fully modern game. You can play as either Leon Kennedy or Claire Redfield, don't worry, you can play the whole thing again with the other character once you've finished, investigating the strange goings-on in Raccoon City, which is a tepid way of saying zombies. There are zombies everywhere. Run, hide, shoot, run some more in that order. Resi 2 balances expertly on the knife edge of survival horror perfection. It's scary enough to make you want to hide behind the sofa, while at the same time so compelling you can't look away. Where does this key go? Where does that door lead? Ooh, look at my lovely new shotgun, I can't wait to try it out on all those zombies back there. The threat escalates in perfect tandem with your ability to just about deal with it, epitomised by the appearance of Mr X, a terrifying zombie terminator who stomps about the place while you're trying to solve puzzles and keep all your green herbs perfectly lined up in your inventory. Resident Evil 2 is probably our favourite horror game of this generation, so if you want something to terrify you, or even if you don't, this is the game you need. The criteria for our final entry, something for everyone. A game you can enjoy whether you are 9 or 90, and that is Media Molecule's Fabulous Dreams. We're kind of cheating here because Dreams isn't just one game, really. It's potentially all the games. You're allowed to create whatever you like with the sophisticated yet intuitive in-game tools, and that can be something as simple as a one-on-one -on -one game of Thumb War, or something altogether more grand and ambitious. Alternatively, if, like me, you have the creative capacity of a gnat, you can simply dream surf the wonderful creations of everyone else, hopping from game to game, taking in the best of what this thriving community has to offer. There's horror, there's sci-fi, there are exquisitely rendered fry-ups. I mean, wow, look at the shine on those baked beans. There will be things so weird and wonderful, you'll have to invent all new genres for them. Crucially, there will be something for everyone to enjoy, which, if you ask us, is pretty priceless. If you're new to PS4, you need dreams in your life. Well, there you go. Seven amazing games every new PS4 player needs in their collection. Everyone else, all our regular viewers and longtime PlayStation fans, please share your own recommendations in the comments. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful and click the notification bell so you're always up to date with everything on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you again next week for another Friday feature. For the players.